Headline. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the 3 p.m. Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. The Dow is down 30 points at 33,564. It's been struggling over the last few days. Uh, one of the things that we're looking at is 33,900s. That's going to be the area that uh, the Dow needs to clear over the next uh, couple of days. Otherwise, it's going to have a problem because the next test will be 33,200 to 33,000. You're looking at the S&P also making an arch formation, and it's down uh, 10 points at 3930. And here again, you're looking at in the daily chart here on the left, in the middle is the weekly chart, and the right is the monthly chart. In this daily chart, you can see that the green nine period moving average is still above the 14, but it's getting really close to turning down. So we're watching this because at 39.31, the 39.05 to 38.93 area is going to be key support. Looking at the QQQ NDX 100 uh, trading vehicle, made a little doji candle high about five sessions ago, making another one now on the day. Is this going to be a halfway marker? Or is there going to be a reversal to the upside? Uh, down $1.24 at 280.46. It needs to get to the 286 level in the next few days because under 278, I say 277, that's a big problem. IWM, this is the daily chart we're talking about. IWM also uh, struggling. It's only down 16 cents at 179.91. But it has failed to clear up decisively the 200 period moving average at 186. Here it is at 179. It must hold 176. Looking at gold, fabulous down gold, really strong, up almost $20 at 1802, above the 200 period moving average. Look, I'm going to show in the next uh, in the next hour coming up, uh, or this hour coming up, I should say. I'm sitting for Tom O'Brien. I'm going to show you the importance of the 200 period moving average. Uh, we'll talk about that. Look at the dollar is. Uh, tried to rally earlier on yesterday. And today it went a little higher. Now it's down. It's down 50 ticks at 105.08, struggling right at the 200 period moving average. Looking at crude oil, uh, very, very weak. It's down 72.37, down almost $2, <clears throat> making a lower low than the uh, September low. And that's kind of important. It's saying that crude oil is just not finding any strength at all. And I'll talk about natural gas as soon as we get back. It's trying to make a little turn here. So with that said, I'm coming back for the Tom O'Brien Show. My pleasure to be and honor to be the host. See you in a few minutes. Stay tuned. Great stuff to look at when we get back. See you in a moment.